don't know who she is, which I think a lot of people probably are. Yeah. Do. This is Gabe's technically girlfriend, basically wife. <laughs> this person says, do you feel the need to ask permission of the parent with primary custody for the child to do something? And I think depending on, on the situation, if we were to go like super far, if like it's a health still... concern or like a safety concern, so like flying in an air, a large yeah. airplane somewhere, like that could be a safety concern, or like fly flying away or out of the United States or out of like out of your country, or if it's a big a big step like emotionally or like physically, then I do feel like you, that yeah. should definitely be discussed with the yeah. other parent. It's, a, it's respect. You're taking the it's child respect. somewhere. They absolutely. I mean, even when we go places, like uh, we'll normally send pictures normally of what yeah. we're doing anyways, yeah. just to share pictures. So and then we don't like, really like. I don't feel like. You guys would even have to ask me because yeah. we're so like we're lucky like, we with talk our to each other anyway. So like if Gabe was taking Lilia to get her first major haircut, like I went yeah. to Gabe and said, and you got and I was like, we're talking about this. This is what she wants. It was like a whole discussion with like everybody involved because it's a major change in the child's life, whether it's yeah. a big trip or a big decision or something like that. I definitely think that the primary or the both parents, not even just the it should be both parents, whether it's the primary parent making the decision or the one that the one that's not the primary parent making the decision both of them should be discussed yeah okay. yes me and yes. gabe want to have children jessica wants them to have children <laughs> <laughs> they always say if this child if this, oh if, if this one is a boy, the boy they then want they to have, have to have the girl <laughs> this is kind of unrelated but do your boys see drake if so do they have a stepmom at his house i have been touching on this a little bit here and there but just to clarify i do have full physical custody of the boys they do visit him um, he's allowed two days a month for eight hours total on each of those times. Whether or not he takes them is up to him. But yes, they do always have his girlfriend who he has a child with now. Um, so they have, so he has four now. He has my three boys and then he has a daughter with her as well. And she is always there, pretty much always there, which I actually honestly makes me feel better because I don't know. I feel like they're taken care of. <laughs> Would you ever tell your stepkids that you love your real kids more? No. Never. And it shouldn't even that's be true. Like, like I don't love my my own yeah. kids more than I love them. I love everybody equally. You shouldn't see them as stepkids. You should yeah. see them as yes. Children. They are your children. Yeah. It doesn't matter if they're like half whatever. It can't yeah. be half your child. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they're all. Because well, like <laughs> Lilia has a different dad than the boys, but the, yeah. she doesn't call them half, half brothers. brothers. They're brothers. It's and all sisters. just. Family. Thing. Logan sees Lily as a sister, then he sees the boys as like his brothers, and like, yeah, because we're all just like, we're we all hang out. We're lucky all, enough to yeah. all get along like that. Did y'all ever dislike each other? No. We, we didn't. never had any differences to resolve. Mm -mm. But I did in, my, in the other situation. I definitely had to go through yeah. that before. There was a lot of, it's just because we never really got over that situation. It was so fast. The way that it happened was so fast. The way that, and then she was pregnant right away. So there was a lot of feelings on my end that made it really hard to have a good relationship with her, but now I do. And let, I mean, I don't really have to deal with them that much, we but I definitely, oh, we could. <laughs> this says, would you feel differently if the birth mother was not a good mother and put all, oh, the, and put all the responsibility of her children on you? Oh, um, that would be hard. She put all the responsibility on you guys better for the children that they're not in a bad situation. Right. You're gonna love the children and think of the children as that your own. That would be tough though. But like, if, like I said earlier, if it was a situation where their safety is a concern, that's different. It's that's so different. when you should go to that court. That should be legal. Legal stuff. Yeah, like, that should be legal matters. Like we're, we're just talking yeah. like civil like matters. How do you make it easier to get along? Like do you guys talk often, hang out? Yes. Yeah, we do hang out. We really do. Like we, um, but all of us will. It's yeah. not like just me and Amber will hang out. Like Gabe and Amber and Logan will all come over to our house and we'll all hang out and we'll barbecue, swim, yeah. stuff like that. During drop offs, like you guys would just hang out for a little while and then there was a time where we're like, hey, come have dinner with us or yeah. something like that. And it, just, and it definitely has made it easier, I think, for, like we, for everybody. We, like me and Jessica have gone out to like the mall. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, we did. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, and we'll then, go out with just each other yeah. too. And then like, uh, Gabe and Chris will hang out here. They haven't gone out yet. They talk about they it all talk the about it all the time, but they haven't. But we, done I it. mean, they both work, so it's yeah, hard. That's hard. But we we always like do stuff all together. Like especially during the holidays, like we'll do. Oh, we we'll did do Halloween big trips together. Yeah, we do Halloween together, and, and that it's makes fun. it 
so much easier not only yeah. for the kids but for me yeah. like as a parent to be able to go when I know I have split holidays with him yeah. but it's like I don't have to together. split because I can just yeah, have all you normally have Halloween and then it's okay yeah it has like, the 4th of July so we did last year we just all did it together and then it makes it easier if, as long as Logan. there's not like plans that, I mean yeah. it's not like we're like oh like, we have going to be together yeah but it's easier that way and because like Logan is an only child so like when he gets to do stuff with other kids, that's it's nice better for too. him. Yeah. Like Halloween, I would take him it by makes himself. It's fun. Like, it's not as fun when you're an yeah. only child. <laughs> We're just like one big happy family, which everyone thinks that it's weird. And honestly, like, I don't feel like it's weird at all. No. I feel like there's more kids to love, there's more. There's just so much love going yeah. around. It and just then makes it's it just, so much better for The everybody. kids love to hang out with each other, so it's more, yeah. not more lucky like that they all get along. Cause like, <laughs> we all need like parent time, like. Yeah. Like no, I'm absolutely. sure that when you give birth, like we're gonna go out. Yeah. <laughs> she just can't right now. <laughs> Deep down, was it hard to see your child bond with another mother figure, even though you know what's best for your child? In our situation, it was not hard for me at all. Mm -hmm. um, like in the other side, it was hard at first. There's just feelings still. When there's feelings involved still, it's, it's really hard to get hard used to another person. To be like, there's another mother figure in that child's life. Not a question, but later in the month, can you have Chris and Gabe do this? Most likely We're not trying. Because, yeah. But both of them are camera shy. They don't and like it's talking. like, it's not that they like, don't get along or don't we like we all talk about this stuff with each other but for them to stay in front of a camera it's it'd be too more weird for them. it'd be harder i've tr we, yeah. we've tried they're not one trying. they're not ones to sit and talk yeah so we'll do the talk camera yeah. then how do you guys co-parent in terms of buying things oh i buy a lot of things for lilia because we because i just have logan so <laughs> it's a girl, I'm like, girl. And I, buy, I like i buy her i feel clothes. like everything that like for Tommy and Kaden, we buy absolutely everything that they need for their own room, their own clothes, their own everything like that. Everything that they need here yeah. is what they do. So like you guys buy everything that yeah, she needs there. She and it's like things will get swapped at houses. Yeah. And it's like if it's something that we really cared about, then we'll be like, like, hey, can I get that shirt back? back? They have uh, stuff at each house. Yeah, stuff. they have necessities yeah. at each of the houses. We'll and it's like, stuff. yeah, that's just how it works. like Christmas, we'll buy them stuff. Yes. Like, did you know who I was and how did you handle the spotlight? Like, did you know that I did this? Did he tell you? Um, yes and no, but like, I don't really see. I mean, I've had people be like, someone saw me at Walmart one time when Gabe and was in the bathroom. recognized you? Yeah. Well, I think he recognized Gabe, not really me. But yeah. like, but she's like, does he have a daughter named Lillian? I'm like, yeah. She's like, I'm sure he, like, you get stopped a lot. I'm like, no. <laughs> see, I have people that I know that watch your videos. And if, oh. they, and if they see me in a video, they're just like, oh, hey, look, it's Amber. Like, like, we're just normal people. How do you get oh, along so with Chris's ex? How do we get along? We don't necessarily get along or not get along. I have tried reaching out and like being like, I don't know, like get on a level like this, but it's just not there. It has to be like reciprocated. It has to be, they, both people have to want it and it's just, unfortunately, it's not, it hasn't hit that, that uh, point yet. What is your ultimate goal for being a stepmom? Um, just to make sure that all the children are happy and loved and yeah. they just feel the same, Loved, the no same. negative energy, like all positive. Whatever you'd want for your own child. House rules. We try to have house rules for all the kids. Right. Um, and I think from house to house, it's like this. Thing. I think we're we like for the most part. I know Gabe is a stricter parent than I am. So, but it's never been a problem. So we've never had to like discuss anything. This one says, "Hey Amber, how was it introducing Gabe to Logan? Did they automatically click? Is Logan's real dad involved?" I was. Nervous about Gabe meeting Logan just because that was like a big step. Yeah, but I mean it was fine Like Gabe treats Logan like his own. He's um, really good with him He's And then really yeah, he him. has a lot of patience because they never saw Gabe as like his parents were together their whole yeah. forever and then I, I just never saw him as being a step parent yeah. so like grow knowing Gabe since we were like 13 and like growing up with him, like he does really good with yeah. Logan. And surprisingly, it's like, surprisingly, he has yeah. Not that I didn't think that yeah. he could, I just he never. He has a lot of patience. Yeah, he's Then really it says, as Logan's real dad involved? No. Not at all. Uh, I've had full custody of Logan since he was four. <laughs> and no, I don't get child support or anything. God. You know, he owes oh, me, I know how that he is. He owes me like $20,000. Yeah, a back pay. I am up to but no, a big I number. don't. I don't have communication with him. Um, I have Logan full time. I do everything for Logan full time. So 
Do the kids know that Chris is just their stepdad? That's a good question. So, um, they don't know like the actual, like what it is to be a stepmom, what it is to be a stepdad. They're still at that age where they don't quite understand that. Um, however, like with Landon, Chris has been pretty much the only dad that he's known. He does see Drake occasionally. I've never said that he doesn't say that. I know a lot of people are like, you say that they don't go over there. Drake does have visitation with them for, like I said, it's um, the ma a maximum of eight hours twice a month. So if he chooses to use, use that time, which he doesn't always, then he does see them for that time. And that's the time that he has with them. So Landon knows who he is. He doesn't know that, I don't think he knows that Chris is not his real dad. They're but the young. twins, I mean, they know that Drake is their dad because they were raised by him for two years. So they do know that and they do know that, but they still, they do know that Chris is their dad too. It's like, I think in their eyes, trying to like put myself in their shoes, I think they literally view it as if they have two, two dads. dads. Yeah. But like we were saying before, how it's only just a name, I think that's kind of what it is. It's like, yeah. this is dad, and this is dad. And it's like, the relationships are totally different. They don't have expectations for what a dad does for you. They don't have yeah. expectations for what a mom does for you. They just know, I am Jessica, and I am their mom, and this is Chris, and he is your dad, and this is Drake, and he is your dad. And that's kind of how they, like, they don't have any, like, real expectations of, like, who is supposed to do what. Do the boys still see their half-sister? Should they see her whenever they go over there? So a couple times a month, whenever they decide People to pick them up. They, that sucks for them though, because they don't get to see her as often. It does. As they could. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. And when they were split up because they broke up for a while, um, they saw her more because me and her got along too. And so we would hang out with the kids together and get the kids together. And unfortunately, when they got back together. He doesn't come around as often, and therefore they don't see her as much. Well, what what is it? Why did why he, you and split up? It was one of those things. I don't even remember what exactly. Like, tri some something had triggered it, but it just ended a way where we were like, we're not on the same path. That we don't want the same things in life anymore. And I know that the, at first, the first like few months, there was still her and stuff because we were together for five you years or young, whatever, and we were high young, school. high school sweethearts, all that stuff. So I mean, there was a time where it was like there was hurt and stuff, but it was just, we both knew that we weren't meant for each other and this just wasn't right. And it's like, we were together, we got, when we got together, we were 14 and then we grew up and we were like, you're not the same person you are yeah. when you're uh, 18, 19 years old than you are, that you are when you were 14. So it was just one of those things, we're good friends, we're still really good friends, we're always gonna be really good friends and we just happen to have a kid together. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of these are repeat questions, so we're literally like yeah, spending through. a long time going through these questions. There was one that said like how do the kids like being in a blended family? It doesn't bother them. They love it. They, they love, love it. They have never expressed to me any negative feelings towards having um, their step siblings come around. There was one that said like how did you feel about like Chris coming in your life when you had other kids? Well, you had four. I had and four. And he had two. And he so, had like, two. And so for, he met my kids first. And it was after we had were already together obviously and stuff like that. And he, he met them first. And Honestly, it was again one of those situations. I like I feel like our life just like played out the way it was supposed to mm -hmm. like everything just happened the way that it was supposed to because they just clicked. They've always had a really good relationship. He's had a, a good relationship with um, the boys and with Lilia it was very different though. Like that's one thing that it's, it's hard to like describe but his relationship with Lilia has always been a little bit not not worse but different than it is with the boys because Lilia has a dad that is fully involved in her life 100% and he feels less like he needs to be like the actual dad yeah. in her life. So it's like the way that he is around Lilia and the way that he is around the boys is different. But like with, the, with Landon especially, he was in his life since he was six months old and he didn't know anybody else really. He's very, I mean, I could probably count on my fingers and toes like the amount of times that he's even seen his real yeah. dad you know so it's and like he's too young to really understand he doesn't get it and i'm never gonna lie to him about it i'm never yeah. gonna say i mean obviously drake is in his life not as much as i would like him to be i do wish that 
that he would come around more and that he would be in their lives more but that's just not the way that it's worked out and i'm not going to hold it against him i'm not going to hold it against them it's just the way that this situation worked out and hopefully it changes in the future as he gets older i mean i guess we'll kind of see how he yeah. responds to it but at this point chris is dad and for the most part for all three of them and especially for Landon so that's just and they'll been... understand when they get older too and they'll be able they'll get it to have yeah. like a choice it'll like I guess I'll really see because I don't know what the situation is gonna be like it's hard you never know how your kids are gonna grow up and but... all we can do is just make sure that we do everything in our power to make sure that they grow up the way that they're yeah. supposed to like we can't put Happy in and loved we can't put and yeah felt, like we can't put a vision in their end of their head about how a certain person yeah. acts towards or them yeah. to feel bad because like, he's not oh, their dog their dad's not involved mm -hmm. or they don't have their dad in their lives or their dad chose to do other things all gonna see it their own way however they want to and all i can do is just make sure that i don't shit talk the other parent yeah. you know like say like and it's hard if you see that your child is unhappy or having a hard time with that kind of stuff i do recommend like counseling, counseling. for sure um I logan is starting yeah logan is starting mine. counseling and it's hard too because in a situation where he's not involved whatsoever and like drake is very little involved whatsoever it's really hard for us to say anything about them that's that not comes positive. off <laughs> not negative and it's yeah. not that we're saying oh he's a asshole or yeah, he's this or, or he's that like we're not like talking straight but it's like when you're saying when someone's asking you oh is his dad involved and like you can't they understand what it means yeah. when you say no and it's yeah. so it, it's hard to there's it, it there's a fine line between like talking crap about the other parent and like relaying the truth yeah. you know and it's and it's something like especially in my situation where he is a little bit involved and that just makes it really hard because it's like he doesn't really do anything for yeah. them at all but he still is they still know who he is he is still there that whole situation it's, it's really hard especially when they're around to talk about the parent i just try to not talk about him yeah. whatsoever it's hard like you for just, me when the kids are around like no kids by the way yeah. there are no kids around yeah, right all now outside. they're all gone and this they're not gonna have access to this no. video but it's really hard like to talk about the other child's parent if they're not doing the yeah. job that you would hope that they would be doing because yeah, they understand for me the hardest part of logan's dad not being involved is when he started school because they mm, have like dad the dad stuff. this dad right. that they have to write about their family and so luckily, luckily for gabe. me like gabe was involved in his life right. when he was in kindergarten so from him going to school like when he writes about his family he writes about his mom and his dad being gabe oh. and then lilia being his sister so oh. i like i was like crying like before logan started school because i was like he does it like yeah we're not money hungry no. it's the fact that if you had that extra money during the month they could do karate and they yeah. could do this and they could do and you can afford to do things like yeah. more, things more things than you already do for them and kids are easier. expensive i was always told by people that you make enough money i don't need to be paying you anything for them and it's like it's not about that and i will do and until my bank account says zero it doesn't matter how much money i have i will make sure my kids have what they need yeah. and it's all, all it is is about making that child's life more um more better more better. see like for me like i like making to keep looking i like to keep looking busy right i put him in baseball need to stay basketball active. swimming yep which costs money so it's it like it all costs money and although we can afford it on yeah. our own it's like the, it's the children's life would benefit so much more by the other yeah because it's not just like oh like i want their money just to have their money it's just like it's not about that have, it's like, so frustrating when people and they're it's like supporting just it's supporting money. them like they're your the child roof too. Over the, head, the electricity yeah. bill, Bills. the food that goes yeah. in their mouth, the it's water that they drink. It's it's a lot of money. It seems like you two have a great relationship and easily get along. But how would you have gone about it if I didn't like you? Would you have kept your distance while still trying to be there for Lilia, or would you force your friendship on Jess? If that makes any sense. Um, I don't think <laughs> I don't think I would push friendship. I would kind of like slow. Just you kind of have to like slowly, yeah, stay distant That's for a while. Hopefully, like it would have became something but you can't force it well that's kind of how it is with like chris's ex because yeah. she's i don't know i don't know if she does like me or doesn't like me we don't talk any like we don't talk yeah. at all there's and, only like, so much you can do offering you don't want to overstep offering to have that there and i feel like that's all i can do and if yeah. she doesn't take it then i'm not going to push it because i don't want to step on toes i don't want to do anything i'm just going to love those children like i love my own 
and treat them how I wish Amber would treat Lilia mm -hmm. or like how, you know, how you would expect your children to be treated if they weren't at your house. And that's how yeah. I, and that's like where the boundaries are, like with the discipline, and, but still with the love. And yeah. it's, that's all you can do when There's you don't have communication so much, with yeah. the other parent. There's only so much you could do yeah. at your own house. When the kids are at your house, that's all you're in control of. Right. Oh, what does Logan call you? Logan Jessica. Calls you Jessica. Yeah, he just called me Jessica. Hey, I'm open to mom. Yeah, he Bring knows. it on. <laughs> he knows. I mean, he knows who everybody is. Yeah. Each of the children know who everybody is that in the way that it's age appropriate. Like, Logan probably understands everything. Yeah. Lilia understands everything. The twins are getting kind there, but there, they yeah. don't. They know Gabe, and they know Gabe is Lilia's dad. And they know that Amber is Logan's mom. Yeah. And they probably assume that Gabe is Logan's, Logan's dad. dad but we haven't really talked about it. We haven't really yeah. actually like sat down and had a, a discussion about Which it. Which me and Gabe have talked about like whenever we do get married, like him adopt do it going through the, the oh, adoption process. Like it. Logan has made it clear that like when we that. get married, he wants to have Gabe's last name to match everybody. Which he's, he's old enough to are. yeah he's old enough to know what it means. I don't know the process, and I'm sure it'll be a fight and it'll be a battle. Mm -hmm. But that's not gonna come up until we actually do get married. And people have asked that question with the boys also. Yeah, like, about the boys the have Drake's last yeah. name, and if Chris is gonna adopt them, and it's just not that easy. Yeah, and I mean when it'll it be on it's really not that because easy. because they'll fight. It'll be a fight. They will. It's so, all about um, and that control. Yeah. So how do you handle a situation where the child says, "Well, you aren't my real mom, or you aren't my real dad," and Thank God that has not no. happened. I see that yes. more as like a teenager thing. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there and I don't know how I think I would cry. Yeah. <laughs> I never said that to my step yeah. parents though. Well, yeah, said that to me, I'd be She'd like- She'd call me. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like, listen here, little girl. Yeah. I'd be like, Gabe, handle your daughter. <laughs> I think you pretty much answered everything though. Like I feel yeah. like oh, there was a lot of questions, but it was a lot of repetitive Over, questions. Yeah. And so I feel like we covered everything. And if we didn't cover it, you can always ask us on our Instagram yeah. or Facebook. If there's really that many questions, we could always just do another video, I guess. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this very long chatty vlog of ours. I feel like this video is longer because we've never really talked about it before. I know, we've never actually, so, like, we talked, I don't know, we never really need to talk about the problems of co-parenting because yeah. like we get along so well. You guys got yeah. the full thing, man. This so was we're not scripted. Like, no. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up for Anna. Remember, give us a thumbs up and make sure you go follow her on Instagram me on Instagram that's where we're most active but I feel like we covered everything yeah. like I don't know if there's I mean, anything about co-parenting yeah uh, co-parenting anything like, else random personal. questions yeah, yeah. it just be like personal Q&A questions maybe we'll do that eventually yeah we'll, we'll get there personal Q&A <laughs> so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you share in the comments below if there's something that you've learned that you want to share as like being a step parent or dealing with a step parent something like that I always love hearing other people's points of view with it. <laughs> that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. This video is going to be, I should introduce you first, huh? Okay. Let me start that over. <laughs> Gabriel. <laughs> I'm gonna disconnect my team. If you're sitting right there, you have to come sit over here. Give us 10 minutes. Look, I used to make videos like in high school, but that's different. Oh, <laughs> just, like, see, so you're experienced. <laughs> I'm playing yes. Jesse with me. Oh, yeah. Ooh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> now the truth is coming out. <laughs> oh my god, he's peeing on the bush. <laughs> it was a zombie ap apocalypse, and you could only choose one kid. Landon. <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> <terrible. Yeah. laughs> In this situation, no, it was easy. What, are you creeping? They keep crashing the oh. video. I love Both you. Movie. <laughs> if we spanked, which I don't yeah, spank, I don't know. Do yeah. you spank? Yeah, we don't. Even, we don't spank. Yeah, but like, we if, spank. <laughs> no way. Not when the cameras are out. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. Um, you both look gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> like it'll take us like 20 minutes to record, and it'll be like an eight-minute video. <laughs> you guys, if you're gonna come in here, you have to join the video. Just randomly showing up in the middle of the video. <laughs> <laughs> It's establish, establishing in a relationship. Uh, I can't fucking talk. <laughs> you can start watching no, it again. And then you can fast forward through commercials. You can't. Can. 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 You can't. Go. Oh my god, I hate you. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you hot. should. <laughs> now I'm gonna get like 500 people following me. I don't know which way it goes though. Pick one. <laughs> you guys don't know who she is, which I think a lot of people probably are. Yeah. Do. This is Gabe's technically girlfriend, basically wife. <laughs>